It was the first full week of remote learning for students in Wake County, and some students still do not have Chromebooks or a Wi-Fi hotspot device. CBS 17's Jamise Price joining us now live with how the district plans to move forward. Jamise. And Bill, the district passed out about 20,000 Chromebooks, but the number of students who may need one, that's closer to 30,000. And those hotspot devices, it's been a delay in getting those to students as well. This week, several thousand Wake County students still needed devices to access their virtual classrooms. Our goal is to find and reach those students that we see are not engaged and continue to work to get them engaged. Superintendent Kathy Moore and board chairman Keith Sutton described the first week of remote learning in a virtual press conference on Friday. She said there were some challenges getting students their Chromebooks. Some of the schools were delayed because they actually didn't have the um, Chromebooks in stock at the school and we had to move them from other schools. So that has been a process as well, moving them to the schools where they need to be. Um, but we should be done fairly shortly with that part of the distribution. Looking ahead, the district is exploring all scenarios when it comes to the remainder of the school year. We are also looking at the possibility that school may not resume on May 18th and how we will need to extend our remote learning work uh, potentially through the end of the school year. And because we have several calendars, that end of the school year is not quite all the same for everybody. Um, and we're also preparing for what the beginning of the school year next year would look like. And a big concern for seniors is graduation. We have maintained our contracts for our graduation venues. Uh, we're not letting go of them. Uh, we have had discussions about alternatives should those um, late May, early June dates not work. We know that our seniors have lost quite a bit uh, during this uh, pandemic. Uh, uh, it is my hope and I think that of the board and the superintendent as you just heard uh, that if, if we can uh, salvage uh, anything it would certainly like to be I would like to see that graduation experience Now, despite some of those challenges during this first week of remote learning, Superintendent Moore said they had a participation rate of about 55 to 75 percent. She's also asking parents and teachers to show flexibility and grace as we continue to navigate during these times. Live in Raleigh, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.